ask you keep washing your hand make sure that if you're sitting in any public transport you observe social distancing this afternoon the police is threatening to use minimal force to compel drivers and commuters observe the partial lockdown uh, my colleague Kwesi Paka Wilson has that story he joins me on the line hello Paka hello Gifty. Paka we understand that the police uh, 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 managed to arrest or deal with some drivers of about is it hundred vehicles? That's correct, you see the Human Divisional Police Command um impounded about hundred vehicles today. Now the reason they have given is that these drivers were not provided with the social distancing protocol. Uh what I got that today at the police office where they mounted roadblocks, I witnessed quite a number of things that I saw the taxi driver had picked up uh, one passenger in front and also uh, passengers at the back. So these were the reasons why uh, the police were compelled to impound the vehicles. Again, they raised concerns about the number of vehicles on the road. You know, as much as they agree that um, the taxis are supposed to work because it's working in the bank, we the media, and those under the uh, um, uh, services are going to work. Uh, they will need the taxis, of course, to carry them from their various homes to their workplaces. But there are quite a number of uh, vehicles or commercial vehicles on the road, which it is quite worrying to them. In fact, when I spoke to the uh, police uh, for the Balsaman Divisional uh, Police, uh, ACP uh, Isaac Asti, uh, he was quite worried and said that the situation is very challenging uh, to the and making them difficult, making their work very, very difficult. And so for now, uh, he said, and uh, should the situation persist, what is going to happen is that the police will be forced to use minimal force to compel commuters and motorists uh, to strictly uh, comply with the lockdown measures. And, and, and you see, uh, interestingly, uh, some of the passengers or the commuters were asked to even get down uh, from the commercial vehicles and then walk to the various destinations. I spoke to a lady who said she was going to race and she's been asked to get down. And so she was troubled and worried and was asked why the police what want to do that. So for the police, they are not happy with the situation. I managed to speak to some of the drivers as well. Well, they were actually accusing the police of being biased, but the police insisted that they were going to keep their vehicle and show that in going forward, they would, they would adhere to the protocol that the president had. Parker, thank you very much for that update. Uh, on Joy News Prime, we'll have uh, Parker's videos and we'll see some of these drivers that Parker is referring to and we'll see also the police uh, uh, themselves speaking and how they impounded those vehicles uh, later in our subsequent bulletin.